Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 Home Services project. In this video, we are going to learn about services by category. So let's see how can we show the services by their category. So first of all, let's create a new live wire component. So switch to the command prompt and uh, for creating the new live wire component or uh, type here the command php artisan make colon live wire a space component name uh, let's say component name is service services by uh, category component all right now press enter uh, component created now run the application so write here php artisan serve now switch to the project and uh, uh, let's create the route for this component so just go inside the route directory then open web.php file and inside this file uh, here after this uh, let's create a new route so right here route colon colon get add here the URI uh, first pass here the category slug okay one parameter category underscore slug okay this is the parameter after this forward slash inside the single quote forward slash then services all right then comma now just write here the class name which is services uh, services by category component colon colon class all right and also give the route name so right here name home dot services services underscore by underscore categories category all right now save this file now let's open the service by category component class file okay so go to the app directory then http live wire and from here let's open this one service uh, services by category component dot php file okay and inside this file first of all let's add here the layout so right here layout and inside this uh, right here the directory name layouts dot layout name which is base okay now inside the class let's create uh, one property public dollar uh, let's copy this parameter name categories underscore slug and paste here okay now uh, add here the lifecycle hook method mount so right here public function mount and inside this just pass here one parameter which is category underscore slug all right now inside this method simply right here dollar this arrow this property name okay category underscore slug is equal to dollar this one category slug all right now inside the render method uh, let's fetch here the category uh, according to this slug okay according to this parameter so right here dollar is category service category is equal to service category uh, service category okay uh, colon colon where uh, add here the column name slug is equal to dollar this this property name okay so right here dollar this arrow category underscore slug all right then arrow first all right now uh, let's return this s category uh, to the component view file so here add big bracket then s category arrow dollar s category okay now save this file now let's open the uh, service by category component view file so just go inside the resources directory uh, then views live web and from here let's open this component view file okay services by category 
dash company dot file dot php file okay and inside this file uh, let's remove this comment and now go to the template directory uh, this is the template directory okay and from here let's open uh, this services by category dot html file in text editor okay so open with notepad plus plus and from this file uh, let's copy let's copy from here here to here okay now let's copy this and uh, go to the view file and inside this team just paste here okay all right now for showing that uh, title here just select this and uh, press ctrl plus d uh, both selected okay now just write here double curly bracket dollar s category arrow category name okay name s category arrow name and uh, also let's copy this and uh, right here s category arrow name all right and now these are the services okay first services second third and so on so okay so we need only one uh, only one service okay so just before this div let's add here for each at the rate for each directive okay and uh, then s category arrow services as dollar service okay and after this div uh, this closing div close here for each directive okay so right here end for each end a spelling mistake for each all right and now uh, let's remove this remaining div okay this remaining services so select this services and uh, delete also remove these and these two services okay so select and remove all right okay now uh, for showing the service name just uh, select this and add a double curly bracket then right here dollar service add one name and here let's show the tag name tagline okay service tagline so right here service arrow tagline okay and here is the price okay so select this and right here dollar service arrow price okay and now uh, for the showing the services image just select this and uh, right here double curly bracket then cut this asset and uh, inside this paste here okay and after after this add the forward slash then just remove this and double curly bracket then service arrow email uh, service arrow uh, thumbnail okay so what is the column name so let's check the column name mm, database directory databases okay migration and uh, inside the services okay thumbnail uh, thumbnail column name okay so let's copy this column name and uh, here and just paste here okay and inside the image alt uh, let's copy this services arrow name and paste here okay all right now save this file now getting the uh, services uh, images uh, go to the subside media github page okay so go to the browser and open new tab and here just simply search here search side media github okay this one and click on github link and go to the repository laravel 8 project home services 
and from here you can download the services images okay uh, you can download uh, this services.zip file okay and after the downloading this file extract the zip file and uh, you will get this in these images okay now let's copy these services images and uh, go to the project directory public images and uh, then services and inside this folder just paste here okay now let's copy the thumbnail so go inside the thumbnails directory and copy and uh, paste here all right now everything is done uh, one more thing uh, uh, let's open the service categories component blade.php file okay view file and inside this file let's add here the link okay so inside this href tag you just write here curly bracket route and uh, let's copy the route name home dot services by category okay copy and paste here okay and now pass here the category slug so inside the big brackets just write here category underscore slug arrow dollar s category arrow slug all right now save this file now everything is done so let's check this so switch to the browser and uh, just refresh the page okay now let's check uh, the services so i'm just going to click any one and click on any any one category okay so let's click on this category and here you can see the category name pest control services okay and these are the services of uh, related to this category okay now let's click on another category so uh, this time click on this category in this category there is no any services okay so for that let's display a message if uh, there is no any services available in that category so for that uh, first check here if if dollar is category let's copy this okay then call here count method count is greater than zero all right then show this as uh, else simply display here a message inside the p tag there is no any services okay now after this just close here the if directive so right here in this now save this file and switch to the browser and just refresh the page now you can see here the message okay make it uh, text and center so for that just write here the style uh, add the class text center okay now save this and refresh the page uh, there is text do one thing uh, add here div class call empty that's 12 and now close this and uh, 
just cut this p tag and paste inside this div okay now save this file and now just refresh the page okay now it's working now click uh, check another category uh, this time let's click on this one and you can see here the categories okay services of this category so in this way you can show the services by their category so that's all about showing the services by category so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching